Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 5 Update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Apple today provided developers with the fifth beta of an upcoming macOS Sequoia 15.1 beta, with the new update coming a week after Apple released the fourth beta. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 5, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, then check for updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 5 update size is around 2.32 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta 5, and the build number is 24B5055E. Moving forward and talking about what's new in this build. This macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta is an early preview of upcoming apps, features, and technologies that will be available later this fall. This beta includes an initial set of the features powered by Apple Intelligence. To try the Apple Intelligence Beta, join the waitlist in Settings and you will be notified as soon as it is ready for your device. Both device language and Siri language must be set to US English. Apple Intelligence is available on Macs with M1 and later. Apple Intelligence is not currently available in China. Moving forward and talking about macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta 5 release notes, the macOS 15.1 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.1 Beta 5. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.1, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding AppKit resolved issues, resolved an issue where menu item keyboard shortcuts in the services menu would take precedence over shortcuts for application menu items. Regarding carbon resolved issues, resolved an issue where iBooks author quits unexpectedly when clicking charts or widgets in the toolbar. Regarding data detection resolved issues, Resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs might quit unexpectedly if data detection API is used. Regarding mobile device management. New features. MDM profiles can use the new key Force Bypass Screen Capture Alert, which allows owners of managed devices to opt out of user notifications for content capture technologies. Regarding quick look known issues. Back deploying apps that link quickly UI to macOS 11 or earlier might crash. Regarding Siri resolved issues, fixed some of the buttons on the macOS Siri snippets might be unresponsive when using Siri through voice. Regarding StoreKit resolved issues, fixed in StoreKit testing in Xcode, the offer identifier in the subscription renewal info might be reported incorrectly for offer codes. Regarding Swift UI resolved issues, on iOS 18.0, there is a known issue where passing nil to the dot preferred color scheme modifier after the preferred color scheme is set by a different view in the hierarchy, does not trigger the system color scheme to change. Starting in iOS 18.1, when nil is passed to the preferred color scheme modifier, the view indicates no preference for the color scheme and thus uses the system color scheme. The view with the above modifier applied prefers dark mode when his dark mode is set to true, but otherwise defers to the color scheme as determined by the system. Regarding system integrity protection resolved issues, fixed users might be incorrectly prompted when an app that is distributed through test flight attempts to access an application group container. Regarding UIKit resolved issues, resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly when loading UI reference library view controller. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you wanna know more, Check out Apple's official documentation for Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 beta release notes. 
So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.